that's how far behind he is. Oh, you like my creatures? Grab those. Hello everyone, it's Love here, and today we exhumed the deck from half a year ago, your fan favorite. I know you guys super enjoyed this one, and so did I. And I wanted to check if that deck can still perform in the current ladder. I just couldn't help myself, and I changed few things, but nearly everything is the same. And today we will confirm if we can still play this deck and have extreme success as before, I will promise you some epic games today. And if you enjoyed this kind of experiments in the current ladder, don't forget to subscribe to not miss more of them and like the video to, you know, make it recommended so we can relieve the glory of Golgari. I hope you guys enjoy. Have fun. Soldiers, have you seen this one before? All right, all right. Man, being on the draw sucks. But we'll try to make it work. Uh, those can block nicely overall. Alright, you know what? I can respect some, you know, sideboarding. Yep, I need more scrap gorgers. I still don't have enough. <laughs> you know, funnily enough, they might be pretty good overall. Right? Because I can play two of them on the next turn and that's a triple blocker. I'm not sure if Shell that isn't just strictly bad. Well, guys. But they do play a Brutal Qatars, right? So what happens if that's a Brutal Qatar? I cannot kill it. I think we need, you know, like the pure mana. Uh, they might start doing cards. If they play Brutal Qatar, then they will draw a card. Or no, they will attack with this. And then draw a card. Oh wow, that's so fun. Then we play Cruelty, we get rid of their creature, and we try to find something that wins the game. I'm not sure, man. Double Scrap Gorger is too slow. I think we kind of have to go for this. Just based on the fact that, yep, you don't have three soldiers. When you read the card, it says that you need three of them to untap, uh, or sorry, to draw a card. All right. Uh, they usually don't have too much instant speed removal. They sometimes play get lost. Please tap the white mana and three mana. Just, just please. I don't want to see brutal Qatar. That's it. That's it. Oh my god, they they actually should main phase it. I think. If I kill the sky strike officer, do I win? What do you do? Exile from a graveyard scry. So if I attack with Shelly, I can use this to ex uh, you know get rid of this. If they block all of this, I just go for the throat. Yeah, I f I f man, I nearly did it first. I actually want to pressure them because every hit from Shelly is two cards less for him that he can draw this game. Triple block? Seems like a good idea, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want to. He can scry. What the... So exiling is part of the cost, unfortunately. He will draw a card. And I honestly think we keep it for Brutal Qatar. There are some cool plays we can make right now. For example, I can play Cruelty of Geeks and hit his Brutal Qatar if he drew it. But the problem is that he can draw next cards and they might be Brutal Qatar. And he cannot play two of them, so this guarantees that it will be fine. And this is legendary, like discounted by legendary. Right, you know what? I like our situation. There is no way we can respond to this, unfortunately. Sure. So, uh, I think the only card he wants to hit is, uh, you know what? Brutal Qatar. One top, does it mean they hit it? They want to draw more cards, guys. 
That's what they do. Seven cards to go. So I will kill first. Brutal Qatar will go for the throw. Then we play Cruelty and try to hit the second one. Then we can... And he's playing a lot of cards in his cards deck. Is that what he took? Sure. That's fine. Alright, they aren't attacking with the other stuff. Sure, 6 damage acquired. So they think they can race us. That's interesting. I don't think they can. So, uh, I think we kill this right now. We can wait until they tap it. But then the effect is on stack, right? So let's do it now. It also gives us targets. They cannot respond to this with the munition uh, field. And we can start stacking our scrap gorgers a little bit. Not the biggest deal, but might be useful. Do you want to draw cards in response? Yeah, exactly. We have scrap gorgers to pay for the cruelty, so I think it's fine. Let's get blue mana because blue is super cool. And I don't think it should make a difference. We probably want to stack everything on one of the scrap gorgers. Well, this is a card. Oh man, this is a card. I actually don't want to attack with shouldered, right? Uh, I think we have to be a bit defensive right now because he can triple block and I mean I could go for the throw but then he plays Brutal Qatar and I actually will lose them. So I think it's a little bit better this way. I mean six cards, that's it. He can go double Brutal Qatar so that would be a little bit of a problem. One, two cards, alright. So we have stuff to exile. And yes, I know that he is getting more cards, but I think we can we can buffer them. This is a bit of a risky strategy, but I think it should go okay. And uh, do I want more mana? Not really, not really. But let's still take it. All right, let's not mess anything up. If I had double go for the throat, I would just kill this with one of them. Or maybe the veteran, right? Because we could exile it instant. Yeah, veteran would be the target. And this is 5 mana and it can be used as an instant. So we also won't be able to respond to this. However, we have 4 blockers and 14 life and uh, a removal. So it will be very, very hard for our opponent to attack. If he attacks with the officer... Man, this feels such a retro matchup right now, but I'm actually having fun. Alright, oh man. Oh, they're, they're trying to get Brutal Qatar. <laughs> and we can start attacking with Glissa as well, right? Um, counters don't matter. Enchantment, they don't have one. We just draw the card. It's still okay. And 3 damage. And don't forget we can attack with one of the Scrap Gorgers for, uh, on the next turn. Oh, this is an interesting one. Yep, they make more. Alright. Man, this will be close. And uh, let's get the red mana. Because reasons. I mean, I think I, sh I can activate the second one as well. Oh boy, that's a card. It's not very good here, but it's still a card. Alright, alright. They don't have great blocks, right? So what is the play? I didn't draw a land, so I cannot play uh, Cruelty, unfortunately. I think so. I think so. I think we just attack with Glissa and maybe Scrap Gorger. 
they can bounce something and get the card and then play those two right i think it's okay i think it's okay Cruelty is super tempting but we won't go for it this might be their chance to attack us right Two blo three blockers and a removal. I hope it will be enough. We'll see. I might be wrong on this. I might be wrong on this. This will be a little bit close. We might draw a land as well. That's actually something I didn't uh, think about too much. Perfect. Man, that, that helps so much. <laughs> I'll be honest. That's so good. So they will play the, the soldier, right? And they will use double flyers to try to kill us. I like it. Smart, smart. Uh, we are not using go for the floats on this. Unfortunately, this will be the soldier, right? This is perfect play for them. But that means we don't lose too much. They use the mana, and they could just cast the Zephyr soldier without bouncing anything, which would increase their power, basically. Six. Man, the game of can you answer Shelly? yes i think we can get a little bit tricky sure so that removes uh, four three or four power from the board and that trades one for one it's still okay and this is this is an interesting game so far <laughs> all right <laughs> i mean even if he gets brutal qatar this will be fun uh, because oh man i nearly missed it I nearly missed it. I will tell you. Man, this, this is such an interesting game. So, first, we can play Rex on the next turn. So, our power is insanely higher. Uh, second, if he plays Brutal Qatar, we can just wait until the end step. So, even if he draws three of those, they can only play one and target Shard at once. And that means whenever they draw a card, they just kill it and Shard is back on board. I mean, I think we are doing it, man. I don't think they can beat us, honestly. Alright. So, 7 damage, guaranteed. Alright. Definitely, let's go, like, what? What can they have? A Ganjo. We don't care. So, this is 4, 7, 11 damage. They don't have the land. I'm going for it. Oh, right, I, I have more creatures. Man, I'm so good at magic. I'm pretty happy I've noticed that I have a creature that I played in order to block it and I forgot to block it. Okay. So what are you going to do about this last card, my friend? Okay. Okay. Like I'm listening. I'm lis I'm I'm all all ears right now. I see. Oh. That is a, an interesting situation right there. <laughs> all right. I guess we can make it work, but it will be hard. All right. Well played. Well played. Cheers. Um I don't think we can do much here, right? No graveyard, we just... I mean, that makes sense. You always play, you know, uh, aggro deck with sweepers. So you can kill your own board this way. I think we prevent the earlier problems with this. But we are at the mercy of Shuffler and we didn't get the card. So I needed land and cruelty. And then we would work from there. But here I think we're out. I mean, that's true. I didn't play around sweepers in aggro deck, I guess. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. So what can we get? We don't have Terra. Oh, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Is it? Is it still okay? Man, I'm not sure. But I can see it working. No. Yes. She's back. <laughs> for the final two damage and let's see if he plays instant speed removal because brutal qatar 
won't do it. Okay. Yes, you can. I'm listening. Man, I cannot believe she's still here. Can you draw a card, please? <laughs> he, he doesn't want to draw the card. Oh my god, I cannot believe we won this. I can Man, shouldered against soldiers and... Sure, that still wins. We play the scra Scrap Gorger into potentially shorted on the next turn, which is pretty wild, man. Or Invasion of Zendikar. I'm not sure which one. I'm honestly not sure. They don't have uh, the binding, right? It's not yet here. I honestly think we go for Invasion. Just because it gives us so much more room and there's no good targets to remove stuff. So we go like this, right? Maybe we go double forest. Now let, let's go balance ma because we have so many black cards. So even if though we can go for the forest, like our hand doesn't really support it, right? Oh, all right, all right. That's interesting. We could flip it if we want. We can also hit a Traxa. However, they cannot play a Hern yet. Not yet. So, next turn. Aether uh, Leyline Binding into Invasion of Zendikar. We could flip it instantly, give, getting us extra mana. And then what? Then we don't really do anything. All right, I think this is the play. I like it because even like they can go for the binding probably, but we will know if they have it. No Atraxa, that's actually really huge. And now we can just exile card later, right? And we cannot swing on this turn, but we have a target to discard. So, you know, the scrap gorger will start to grow a little bit, sure. Uh, do we care about this card being in the graveyard? I mean, we want a target, if anything. And that will be the whole turn, right? Alright, do you have any idea of the good card that could win this game? <laughs> uh, I'm actually thinking about the Rex. No, they will just go. Okay, let's go this. If we hit Atraxa, the value we are getting is insane. Uh, let's go with this. I mean, you know the drill. We play the card. <laughs> Bro, where are your Atraxas? Please. Uh, so this will be Shelly on our side and I guess the Stomper. Because our opponent just doesn't play the right cards for some reason. <laughs> we still ramp, so it's pretty cool. And with all the cottages, man, we have so much potential. And they need to sun for, right? They cannot even go for up the beanstalk. I mean, they have to sun for right now. And we still get the creature. Oh boy, man, this deck always surprises me. And it seems to be pretty decent. Bro, I'm taking the cool one. Like, come on. And we still have some basics, right? Man, the Cruelty of Geeks has such an insane value. I like, it's pretty crazy. All right, so we go for what? Shelly is a little bit slow. go my minions because i need to win this very quickly before they draw another sunfall they can play beanstalk into sunfall or they can just go for this so it won't be easy but i hope we can do it oh really that means they don't have the seven flant right otherwise they would cast it and just you know cross their fingers man the shelly didn't really have luck this game, huh? <laughs> like, Alright, interesting choice. Alright. Yep, that's a Rexy. Your Doom. And I mean, the mana is shrinking. Oh, the mana shrink. Man, I tell you, this deck always surprises me. And now, I am just too good at magic and I smork my opponent. In the face, like a true Golgari would. You know what? We submit zero because we don't care. Man, that's 12, 20 damage. Like, oh boy. And he had a sweeper, right? All right. 
Right. This deck just always carries me a little bit. All right, guys. Are you ready for a forest from the top? This oh boy, we need one. <laughs> we we can you know go different ways. We need any land to be able to play something, but we of course want forest the most because we want to cast it into this or maybe this and maybe this and this and this. All right. Anyway, Slov just having fun like switching cards. <laughs> <laughs> that that's where we are in this game. Oh, our opponent played the mountain. Oh wow, Th this is also extremely exciting part. I wonder what is the next play. Oh, this is uh, this actually is <laughs> kind of entertaining. Oh, so he wanted to hit the land. He he whiffed. That was a full whiff. I'm not sure about the second sim sim like really. Quick commentary from a future sloth. Uh, I actually missed uh, that the synthesizer was exiled by another synthesizer, which means that he would lose it in the end step anyway, so there was no harm in playing it. Ignore my rambling, have fun. That's how you play it? Generally, that's not what you do. You play it so you can play your land, uh, and you know, if you don't hit it, it's, it's just okay. Not great, but okay. Let's go for the green because we kind of want to play the stompers. Maybe you're so shelly. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Um, okay. So it's a half anvil, half not anvil deck. All right, understood. So if I play Akrazot, do they lose? I mean, okay, this is, man, this is such a great value. Like, I'm sorry, I have to go for the value, man. Like, it's just too good. Like, this is just the dream of Charlotte. Man, I was so excited for this card always. And the art is just so cool. Yep, you can play another... I don't think they really understand how to play this deck. And the build is super wonky. Like, you want to hit lands with those, so we get the value. Oh, that's cool. So, I mean, uh, we play Akrazot. And we win game, right? That's the plan. I, <laughs> I, do, I just don't see them too much in this game. The second synthesizer, I think that was fully whiffed. They, even if they hit the land, they just had no way to play it. And Feldon? It, it really feels like deck that... Okay, uh, I might be missing the big picture, you know? Maybe there is more. Let's let let our opponent show us the might of his deck. I mean, this is just 13 mana of big creatures with mid-range value, so, you know, I'm sure it won't be a problem. 3 damage to my face. Sure. Uh, but do you know what happens in the next... <laughs> it's not getting easier for him. And we played this. Uh, because then we get some nice mana. And that means uh, the Stomper can keep attacking. This can keep discarding. And this can keep blood. Oh, I have Vigilance. Sure. I mean, let's go for two turn lethal. Well, at least he can show us the card. <laughs> well, he, he just needs five of them. And he will sweep the board once during this game. All right. So we have one blocker, 16 life, and 12 damage into. Man, this deck always surprises me. I'll tell you, man. I never believe in it, and it, I always start to believe at the end. Sure, you can have my cool creature for a single turn. Uh, sure, I will block it. I mean, isn't it funny that even with skilling the creature for 3 mana, he still loses on board? That's how far behind he is. Oh, you like my creatures? Grab those. <laughs> oh, and that's the last card. Oh, a lightning strike. That's so... Man, this is a true Golgari powerhouse, right? This guy just with one once. We are with 2020 in stats. All right, guys. I kind of like this one, but it's also a little bit scary. We play with Swan because when we play this, they know it's Golgari. When we play this, it looks like mono black. And honestly... I hope, I hope we can play the Stomper, man. Like, we really need those lands. I'm a little bit scared. And Dimir is kind of known for killing creatures, you know? Uh, definitely, before they can counter it. And let's just get this forest going. 
because we need the sweet value for two for one. All right, maybe, maybe Celeste or Hertz. That's a nice draw. They have. They might play a sweeper on the next turn. This doesn't kill artifacts anyway, right? I think we just set up. This is quite a lot of pressure and it can be scary for our opponent. And I mean, we are just going with it. If they sweep, we go for the wave 2. And if they sweep wave 2, we are out. Uh, if we don't, we might be in an extremely nice situation. We kind of need to draw Zendikars. So we can activate all the stompers. But we'll see. Alright, they had it. So wave up first is out. Let's go for Grisa. This is easier to remove because they just need one mana removal. And this is why I'm playing Celestus in all of my builds basically. Because you can see with my 5 mana sweepers it makes a big difference. If I hit Zendikar that would prevent like 8 damage for them. It, you know, not the game changing difference but you know, good enough. Yeah, they will probably wait until we, we attack, uh, they will cycle one of the cards and they will be in an extremely commanding spot. I mean, let's see what happens, but I know Glissa is not surviving it. Yep. Yep. I think we play until Bridge the Multiverse, uh, because we... No way, man. Man, I got the card somehow. I don't know why I'm drawing cards, but I am. Alright, so... I know, I know. Not the biggest target on Earth. I think they have Memory Deluge. That might... Yeah, that explains it, right? So I'm drawing one card, and he's drawing two cards. And they're a little bit better. So we need to force a sweeper so we can play the bridge the multiverse. All right, the deuce is kind of the same, right? They are doing two cards and we are doing one. So that's why they went for it. They decided our cards, uh, like, you know, two cards generally beat one card, especially that they are having higher value cards overall. So we need to pressure enough so they cast something like deadly, yeah, deadly cover up, right? I think that's what they're doing. Sure. However, Bridge the Multiverse is not in the graveyard. And that means they cannot go for it. They would probably go Gliss, I think, or Shorded. Shorded if they're like scared of, of Shelly, but uh, Glissa is better, I think. Just because she draws cards. Shorded is better against, you know, planeswalkers, uh, creatures, not not really against the creature uh, full control deck. And I'm all over the place, but you get the idea. And so far, our opponent is playing exactly as we want him. And that's a weird choice, but I'll take it. And I play my stuff. And let's see. What... My opponent doesn't play a single creature, and I whiffed. Well, that's probably game. So I needed a Tyranax Rex, and I needed him to have a good Planeswalker. That was the plan. But for some reason, my opponent doesn't play stuff. <laughs> Why aren't you playing stuff? So if he kills it, we are conceding. Uh, because uh, we already with too much. Like, this was our main play. And to be fair, I think I, s I tried to sneak it in a pretty decent way. We actually hardcasted it against a Demir control. And let's see if they play count. Well, Demir, more like the Deuce and Mono Black. <laughs> Alright, so what are we doing here? All right, I think this is the last wave. If there is a chance, that's the best we have right now. We can kill one of the creatures, but that's it. This will be a fodder for Shelly, because they might get our shorted, right? Because they don't play a single creature. <laughs> and also a single blue card so far. Yep, here she is. up to one target creature, so it's good for them. Sorcery, eight or more cards. So we kinda have to go right now, because now they cannot activate it. It's sorcery speed, 
so they cannot know you need to lose it all right and this is why scrap gorger was a thing i guess we could use the scrap gorger to just target virtue of persistence target but i really don't expect us to win if glissa misses and she dies like you know it's it's kind of it but they played double double sweeper already double deadly cover up so there is a fair chance they don't have the third one they have white mana for path of parry they also have restless reef so Glissage generally shouldn't go through. Yep, yep, yep. He's, he's, you know. Yeah, I, I don't think we win. Like, we, we we lost when Bridge didn't hit any targets. Like, we played Bridge and we basically got 7 mana shorted. So that's not exactly what we want. And as you can see, he plays Planeswalkers. So now he can disable Glissa fully. And that's bad for us. Organic mines are easily and I don't think he will draw enough cards so we can we can kill him. If we play Rex, I can see us winning, but we need to draw it now. Well, drawing a land is probably not the most amazing thing ever happened to me. Alright. You don't really deal combat that. Yeah, like, there's no point. Alright, so our opponent theoretic Oh he ha no. He doesn't have enough mana. Okay, I got scared that those are treasure tokens or something. So our opponent has three cards to go. He has Field of Ruin unfortunately, so uh, the cottage will be disabled, but it will prevent at least memory door at that step or something. Or getting cruise. Uh, he can only get one if he wants to use Field of Ruin, and he needs to do it first. So we kinda... okay, okay, okay. That's not the worst. At least that... oh, man. Theoretically... I don't think I played the spell, so Celestus will give them extra draw. Yes. I could activate the Cottage. This way we go around Field of Ruin, but I think I want to tax him anyway, and Glissa doesn't do anything, right? It's just about shorted. And if he goes another Edict, then we activate the Cottage. We can do it only once, so that might be, you know. Alright. But it's a non-token. It's a non-token, you know. We are just scrapping the, bar the bottom of the barrel, but this is the best play we can make after whiffing on the bridge fully. If that's not enough, like our opponent just drew better and we, we didn't get what we wanted. I guess that was kind of misplay because we knew about Shardet, right? And yes, he could answer with the field of ruin before this was a creature. So I think we play one more turn because we can get the Rex on top of the library. If they don't hold the mana, and uh, we maybe can kill them. We'll see, we'll see. So definitely a misplay on my part that I didn't sacrifice Cottage to Edict. I was a little bit greedy. I hope that I will tax their next turn and maybe the Cottage will be a lethal. Uh, remember, it's still like two mana they need to pay for a Field of Ruin. And the one they get from sacrifice, they get untapped, so it's not, it doesn't really count. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. There are still some chances. And honestly, I don't think they played optimally so far, but they have definitely a huge edge after the breach. Well, good game. I will give him a good game. Uh, if we played, if we hit Rex, like he would be so dead right now. But I hope you guys still enjoyed. Uh, I think it was a pretty decent game overall. All right, guys, after the games, and I'm happy to report that we actually ranked up. And guys, like, I never believe in this deck. It, when you look at it, it's always, how can I win against aggro? And you know what? It seems we can. I'll tell you, man. Glissa and Bridge the Multiverse, like, and Charlotte, sorry. 
Sure, I should start with shorted. Like those are cards that unanswered just kill everything. Uh, before, just important thing, right? Before you craft anything, you remember there's sideboard for this one. I'm not the best of three player, but for me, from Breaker of Silence doesn't make much sense anymore. That was the original sideboard from the deck, but yeah, I would probably add some deadly, you know, deadly cover ups or something. But just, just be aware of it. And yeah, I mean, this deck always surprises me with how strong it is and even against control decks like of course you can have games like you know they sunfall then they sunfall and it's rough but first you can answer with bridge the multiverse very often after they sweep and now they need instantly new sweeper or you can just go rex and keep you know, just smashing their face until they are dead. We also have nice addition of cottages. We didn't have it originally. So yeah, we have a lot of power and you have seen those attacks for 20 damage in one turn. So guys, I think that it's a good old Golgari with a very nice twist. Even though you play those seven drops, you still play a little bit as a mid range. Thanks to those scrap gorgers, you have this early game like bulk. Man, I think I was even on the draw against aggro decks, and this just buffered enough damage together with like stompers, sunslayers, and shorted that we can absolutely recover. Uh, generally, we don't play five mana Shelly. I kind of liked her, all right? I like shorted. I, this is the card I was super excited about originally when it was revealed. It's not seeing too much play, but in some situations, is an extremely strong card. You don't really use the ultimate, of course. However, I think Akrazot could be objectively a little bit better simply because it has lifelink. And, you know, against aggro, uh, you just want this lifelink. So this is an extremely powerful creature as well. So maybe you should play two of them, to be absolutely honest. I even like Cruelty of Geeks. Man, I miss this kind of effects. Like five mana, you know, the Eldest Reborn like type of enchantment. Like, this is so cool. So. For me, this was a great journey into, you know, some memories. All right, guys, thank you for being here. Don't uh, forget to leave the comment. I want to know what you guys think about this kind of deck because I honestly had so much fun and I hope you did as well. So guys, thank you and see you tomorrow.